Going to put the bottom screws back in the case. Note these are the longer black tri-wing screws with the thicker thread. Silver screws at the back. Like so. Now the black face plate. So these are back in, we just put on the, uh, the top covers and we're very close to done. Now the Velcro strap. You see that the Velcro strap is attached to the woad, rip one side off, peel off the uh, sticker on the back and apply it just beneath the Wii serial number itself. Now the Wii is ready to sit on top of the woad. Just make sure that the the cable pushes down, use your finger to push the cable down into the stand and it'll sit quite neatly on the wire. Connect the USB cable up to the back. As you can see the wire is quite firmly connected. And connect the wire's USB cable to the back of the console. That's the, uh, that's the installation for the wire itself. So uh, now what we'll do is move on to testing the unit itself and, uh, and uh, running through the menu. Okay, there are two things left to, uh, to do with the, the installation of the Woad. The LCD screen has a little protective covering on it that needs to be removed. And peel that off, just like that. The second is, your Wii would have come with a vertical stand with a plastic round part that can be removed off the bottom. This can be connected directly to the Woad itself. This will uh, stabilise the console, make it a lot easier, to knock, a lot, lot harder to knock over. And connect that on like so and now the Woad is ready to go. Now what we need to do first is actually update the Woad to the latest firmware. The current firmware version is 1.15. This does take a long time to actually update. It takes about eight minutes. So you need to copy it to an SD memory card. Uh, the updates are quite small at the moment, so even a 128 megabyte SD card will be fine. Um, and once you've copied the update onto the SD card, insert it into the Woad and power on the console. And we'll just zoom in now and you can see, there we go, the Woad is updating. Now this is going to take about uh, eight minutes. Um, depending on the update, what actually has to be done for the update will depend on how long it'll take. This is a full update, so it is going to take the, uh, the full eight minutes. So what we'll do is we'll, um, we'll pause this now and let it update and resume once it's finished. Okay, once the Woad is finished updating, it'll go to the main menu, which you can see here. So what we'll do now is remove the SD card, turn off the Wii and plug in our USB hard drive. Just note with the USB external media, this is a, a, a thing a few people might uh, 
have trouble with it first, all your game images need to be in a folder called ISO. So make sure you make a folder on your external drive called ISO um, and put all your images inside that. Now the world's just loading up, it will take just a, a few seconds for the hard drive to be recognised. You can see on the select game it's uh, just changed. Now what we'll do is we'll go down to the settings menu. Uh, to, to navigate the world you use a little joystick, if you press it down you can see it goes down. Um, and you press right to enter a menu, so now you press right. That'll take us into the, uh, the options. The region setting, just leave that off for the moment. Updates no means that it's going to stop game updates from disk. Um, at this stage you should leave that on no. Um, we advise that you should use the new Super Mario Brothers to update your Wii to the latest 4.1 firmware um, and make sure you keep the updates on though. That'll stop the console from receiving any updates uh, from now on and 4.1 is a great firmware. It'll keep you in the all region support and will support almost every, every title that's out there at the moment. Auto boot, uh, just leave that on off as well and the reload on off. So that's the settings menu. You go down and you press uh, right to save. Now the settings have, uh, have saved and you press uh, left to go back. Now uh, we'll just explain flat mode quickly, the next one up. If you want to play a game from disc, uh, not using the woad, you need to put the Wii into flat mode. Now basically, now once it's in flat mode, um, you are able to boot up an original, uh, an original disc. So now we'll just put in um, our original copy of uh, Super Mario Brothers. And in flat mode. There we go. To get out of flat mode, um, we need to power the Wii off. And now we'll show you how to uh, load a game from one of your uh, your external drives. Once again, it'll take a couple of seconds for the hard drive to be detected. And there we go, using the right, then right again, and then you can select, um, going with the up and down, what you like, and um, we'll start to load. As you can see up here, there we go, loading from the external hard drive. Just note if you do have any problems with uh, with your hard drive not being detected, um, it could be that there's not enough power being supplied for it. Most two and a half, uh, two and a quarter inch drives uh, are okay to be running, but if you've got a three and a half, it'll, it'll need either a powered hub or um, external power. But if you do have any problems, uh, best thing to do is to get yourself a powered USB hub to sit next to it to connect your devices into, and uh, and that that should be enough. Okay, now we'll just load up uh, the Mario and just show you how to get back to the main menu once you're uh, once you're in game. Now once you're in game and you want to return to the main menu, you just hit the eject button on the console and you'll see it says ISO ejected followed by reset. Hit the reset button and that will bring you back to the main menu. So that pretty much concludes our installation video uh, for the Woad Jukebox. Uh, if anyone's got any questions at any time, just feel free to email us. Definitely make use of uh, www.woadjukebox.com. They have uh, support forum there with extensive information so feel free to contact us and uh, make use of uh, wojukebox.com